This is a 2007 Honda CRV. Uh, we've been noticing that the right rear seat uh, has appeared to be loose when we're driving, kind of clicks and shifts just a little bit. So we're going to take the seat or apart uh, and troubleshoot for if anything is loose. So just to show you the sound this is making uh, as it's loose, just sitting on the seat here, and each of those little clicks, we feel something moving and the whole seat shifts. Okay, we can make sure the headrests are down, pop up and lower the rear seat. In our case, it's the right side, so we're gonna have to take the middle part down as well. And then once that, we're gonna pull the strap in the back here, lift this up, and then flip up the entire rear seat. This is the bottom front right corner of the seat. I'm back out here to show you. So pushing in here with the screwdriver on this side, and then also on this side here in those two tabs, it takes a little wiggling, but then you pop off the top piece here and on the other side, and that allows you to lift out the clip. Okay, so we've taken out the screw here, like and that on now allows you to pop out this plastic piece. Pop that back. Get out of the way. And then that exposes this piece in here, which is another plastic liner. I'm just going to carefully pull that out of the way. We're going to go through and check all these bolts to make sure um, we can find whatever's loose. So we checked all the bottom bolts, but I think the culprit is now up here at the hinge point for where the back of the seat folds up. And if you listen here, now it should make that noise. So I'm going to have to pull off these trim pieces and we're going to have to investigate in here now. So after we pop this clip off, the next one is in here, you'll feel, and it just pops out. Uh, right off of the actually under the bottom here. All right, so we check this bolt and this is tight This is not actually moving at all, but yet we're still getting the clicking sound here when we move this So there's something in behind here and now we're gonna have to dig deeper into the seat so uh, along the bottom back of the seat here. I just popped off the upholstery that was stuck in and then down here now, we're just going to gently remove this zipper and then we'll unzip the fabric here. All right, so we pulled out that bolt uh, 12 millimeter socket that went right in here and just pulled it out. And you can see there's just a spacer built right in. And then took a look here at the plastic clip, which looks to be in good shape. And we're trying to figure out what's causing that clicking noise and it seems that it might even just be the spacer on the back side here if you look in there. So I was able to get the plastic spacer out uh, to take a look at it. Um, I just took a screwdriver and uh, very carefully just pushed in on each of these tabs while I separated the seat from the base just by pushing like that. And I was able to just work the spacer out on the back. Um, it doesn't have any unusual gaps and um, it fits on there snug. So if there is a problem here that's causing it to uh, slide, I'm gonna guess that it's in this inner ring here where it clips in place. Maybe that is compressed somehow. So I'm just going to try to fit it back in and see if there's anything else that can be done about that. So I just put the spacer back in place here. So it clips and spins in this opening here. And then I took just a little bit of a silicone grease and um, just put some on the face of the spacer that was uh, facing the metal plate for the back just so that if it does move, no noise, no popping. It's a little more smooth. Now I'm gonna put the bolt back in. Uh, we're gonna tighten that up and see if that helps. 
Okay, now we'll see if that still, still makes a little bit of noise. So I'm going to rotate that plastic piece and try again. And now, it stopped clicking. So that must be key. Maybe one side of this plastic spacer is a little compressed or worn out. But take a look here to see how I've just rotated it a little bit this way forward. I just rotated it counterclockwise. And now in that orientation, it's not making the noise. So I'll just have to keep an eye on it and see if that does the trick. All right, so bolt is back in here and I verify there's no noise moving this piece forward or backward. However, when we sit on the seat and it's back in the down position, I still hear and feel some movement. So my next point of suspicion is the, the latch where the seat is held in place against the bar on the floor down there. I think we found the culprit here. There's a plastic spacer here that rests on the latch on the floor. And there's a gray mark here on that spacer and also a matching one on the bar on the floor the pliers and pull that's the noise and the motion that I'm feeling in the seat and so that may be enough of the play that's causing the seat to move or feel like it's moving now I cannot get this out for the life of me here this is um, pretty much permanently attached even though I took these three bolts off and nuts off and try to remove this plate, um, can't get access to this. So now I'm trying to see if putting some epoxy up in this cavity to hold this in place so that it doesn't do that. So I'm going to put some epoxy in the spaces here and I've trimmed down a small wooden dowel toothpick or a pick just to work some of that epoxy in here in this space and that space so that once that piece stops shifting hopefully that will take care of part of the motion all right so just got some JB weld epoxy mixed up a small little bit of it here and now we're just going to apply working it in to the gaps just kind of feed that in and then we'll let that dry and see what happens. So we've worked the epoxy into the space around those black plastic um, bumpers there and on the instructions on the epoxy. Uh, we're gonna clamp it here for one hour to fully cure. And then when that's done, we'll come back, take these uh, clamps off and see if we can move the piece. Okay, we've let the epoxy sit for a few hours we're going to take the clamps off now and hopefully we have uh, this piece sticking in place. Let's try it out. And it seems like it's quiet. That might work. I'll test it out on the seat now. Okay, clamps are removed. We'll put the seat down, give it a shot here, try it out. No noise. That's pretty good. I think that was the problem and the epoxy has uh, fixed it. So now we have to reassemble everything. Okay, so to avoid having to rewind here, we're gonna put all the upholstery back. I've zipped this up, tucked it in here, folded the underneath part underneath here, clipped it, and then I've run this seam back over and down and tucked it in, pushed on it just with a screwdriver a little bit to make sure all the fabric was lined up and taut. Now we have the clip for the back. I'm going to push that in here, get that in place, clip it in, and then we'll start with the plastic pieces. So with the upholstery back in, we're going to take and reinsert 
the plastic liners and clips for the seat. And get all of this put in place exactly as it was. Hopefully I can remember this right. As this was set on here. And then we'll take this piece that we had to screw in at the top over here. And we'll get this clipped in place as well. One small hiccup here. So I went to put the screw in to the side piece and I realized while I was able to bend things to get things out, get the screw out at an angle like this, uh, I'm not able to get the screw back in because of this trim piece. So in order to be able to get the screw in here, I popped this piece of the upholstery back and I took out three screws along the top, one, two, and three down here. What that does is allows us to pull back this trim piece over the top and that then allows enough room to get the screw in on the side piece here from inside. We'll repeat that on the other side and then we'll push this trim piece back up one, two, three screws to put that back in place. Now, all of those screws in place, bring up the fabric, which I notably forgot to tuck in. Back into the slot, so don't do what I did. Remember to pull your fabric through. You're going to be doing like me. Okay, there we go. Now tuck the fabric of the seat back around and underneath. And go across to the other side. Make sure that's tucked in. Smooth. We're going to attach the trim piece on the upper right side over here. So I'm going to pull the hook in first, line up the back, and then the side. Okay, that's in place. Okay. Okay, next is to reattach the clips on the back side of those hinges. Uh, as you can see, I've popped the right one in place already, and now we'll take care of doing the left one. So this has a notch on the bottom that mates into this little metal clip here. And so we'll pop that into place, get it to catch in that clip, and then push forward kind of snug. That's going to mate with the front clip on the other side. Which so with those clips in place, we'll drop the seat down, pull back, anchor that in place. Okay, you stuck with me this long. I'm impressed. That was quite a job for what seemed like a small fix, but now everything's back together. Seats are back in their place. The arms are in their upper position. And importantly for now, there's no more rattle or movement of the seat. So last step, we'll bring down our extra seat belt, plug it in, and everything is back to normal. Thanks again for watching. You've made it through some magnificently boring stuff here.